is up guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today I am freshening up my skills, if you will. Hanging out in the shop, hanging out on the farm. I got some couple of things to do on the farm. Making a, making a video for vlogging, a video for Kayla and I's channel, but I'm also uh, making a video for my channel. Just gonna show you guys uh, what I was doing today. Cleaning up some pipe. I had some 12 inch 250 wall uh, pipe laying around. I didn't realize I had it. I kind of forgot about it. I've been looking for some, but uh, so I cut some pups all that I could. Some two to three inch pups the other day. And uh, cleaning them up. I'm gonna tack one up. I built this rollout wheel the other day also. Just to, something to practice with. I wanted a stand. I've had this stand for a long time. I actually made that. Uh, it was a cart for a MIG machine. Anyway, I've had my heater on it. But I took it off and put this put this rollout wheel in here. I don't really care so much about the rollout wheel part. That's handy, you know. But I mostly wanted it to be able to put it on a 45 Several ways I could have done this, but I just made it to where I could, let me show you guys. I made it to where I could lift this up and put this piece in here. Nothing fancy, I don't think. I just threw it together. Uh, just so I could have it on a 45, I like to practice my 12 inch on a 45, because that's a real common test um, a lot of times. So it's a good one to practice on. That's most of what I built this for, is so I could practice on a 45. So I'm gonna tack it up with it laying down. Tack it up with it laying down. I'll keep video on that, but then I'll put it back up on a 45 and weld it out. I wanted to talk to you guys about what truck to start out with. Uh, for pipeline for welding in general, but for pipeline, I mean We'll just say for for pipeline, but the truck I recommend is a one-ton dually mostly because Of the weight we carry that's the main reason of one-ton dually is the weight we carry and a lot of us pull a trailer down the road So that covers all your bases is a one-ton dually a lot of guys are looking for a cheaper way to start out or um just whatever other reasons, you know, just a cheaper way to start out. A three-quarter ton works just fine. I've seen tons of guys run a three-quarter ton. Um, ain't nothing wrong with it. I think a lot of it's a lot of it's personal preference. But if someone was to ask me, I would recommend a one-ton dually to start out with pipeline. But like I said, there's there's some advantages to a three-quarter ton. You got uh, only four tires to buy. That's a start. I mean, it's it's just cheaper to run a three-quarter ton, I guess. It just and you can beef one up, or you can buy a uh, you can put heavier suspension on it, or you can buy a single wheel that's a one that's got one ton suspension. Um, so that's that's my my opinion. Definitely comes down to personal preference. Whatever a guy wants, I personally think the Dewey's look better. Uh, you just see a lot more of them. Um, and there's a reason for that, you know, there's older guys that's been doing this for a long time and they They drive dualies because it's just it it more meets the requirements for everything we use these trucks for in this line of work, but I definitely understand people trying to get started and Things like that so but I just want to talk to you guys about that and See if that helps any of you guys make decisions. It does not matter getting started you can you can start out with a three-quarter ton or an older one-ton dually or whatever it may be. Just anything that's affordable to get your hands on, to get in there and get practice. And then you can work your way up. You can upgrade. You can always upgrade. So I would definitely recommend just getting your hands on anything that's at least a three-quarter ton or up. I definitely would not recommend a half ton. I've seen it, but I would not recommend it. But it shows how much you invest in your in your uh, equipment and what you want to do for a living by what you're 
driving around. So I would definitely get what's necessary, which is a three quarter ton or one ton. But I hope that helps you guys. Uh, I'm gonna get to welding and uh, finishing out my day here. We'll take a little video of me welding if you guys want. Definitely wouldn't use whatever method I'm using. I'm gonna get to welding. I'm gonna get to practicing. Been off work for about two months now, so uh, I made a, another weld the other day. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I've got three or four welds I can make. I'm gonna do it while I'm off around the holidays here. Just a good thing to do, have practice pipe around. Anytime you're on a job, uh, try to get some drop pieces of pipe. Doesn't matter what size, I just, 12 inch is a good common size to practice on because it's what we test on and stuff like that. But if you can't get a hold of 12 inch, 8, 10 inch, anything, anything just to be welding while you're off, just to be practicing. Or uh, those of you that haven't broke out yet, just to be practicing on anything. That's the advantages to being a helper, which we've mentioned this in some of our new pipeline series, but some of the advantages to being a helper is you can get a hold of pipe to practice on before you break out. And uh, even myself, I have trouble getting a hold of pipe whenever I'm not working, and you know, I didn't get any on the job I was on, so or you're on a job that's 36 inch and you don't really can't really haul that so um, just some advantages to being a helper but uh just good to keep your arm in it whenever you're off you know that's the that's one of the main, main reasons i like staying busy is to keep my keep my my hand in it you know that's it just uh helps staying busy doing it every day it helps your skills so uh that's why I like to practice if I have time, if I think about it when I'm off work. Uh, I usually just take a day to cut pups, whatever, how much ever pipe I got, cut several pups, and then another day just weld, you know, it's just a lot more enjoyable that way to have them already cut. You know, you ain't gotta cut and weld, cut and weld. But uh, that's just how I do it. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that little bit of information about the truck helped you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any more questions. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next Friday. See ya. A lot of this pipe will have a seam. Just a little tip for uh, testing. You can run your fingers Usually like two little bumps. You can't really see it on camera, but pay attention to your seams when you're tacking your pups up. And usually you would tack them up most likely like this. Lay out your mud board on two jack stands. And then one on top of the other. You know, on test day, but anyway. Just wanted to throw that little helpful tip in there. I already got the tip or the seam rolled to the top on this other piece. And uh you can always mark them of course i don't have no soapstone on me but you can always mark them just for practice it don't really matter but it's a good idea to line your seams up on a test that way whenever you go to pull your straps you don't pull them out of a seam so line your seams up and put them on the top most generally
three. Take three, whatever. 